two years ago, I started this channel. Um, it's almost two years ago to the date. This is one of the reasons I'm here today. Um, I'm in Charlesville along the Sand Spring Trail, which is the first video that I ever did on this channel. So I'll kind of bring it back. I uh, hadn't really worked on the, the channel like right when I started, like right after my first video. I kind of, uh, I've only really been hard, like working hard on it, you know, getting more content and stuff up for about a year now. But I kind of wanted to come out here around the same time of year, um, now that I have, you know, 4K equipment and stuff like that. But uh, we're gonna do things a little different. We're gonna go up to the Sand Spring, and we're gonna go up to the Tom, Lo Tom Lowe Trail and come around the Tom Lowe Trail. But um, once again, if, if you, if you want to you know check out some of these hikes and stuff like that um, there is a Google Sites page in the show notes that has all the uh, all the trail information and you know and like trailheads and stuff like that so it is hunting season so you know wear your orange so uh, yeah let's check it out North Hill's flowing pretty good this little side tributary there with the waterfalls Definitely a beautiful fall day. Stream's rushing pretty good. Beautiful across this little stream. Fall in Pennsylvania is so beautiful. The, when the leaves come down, you can see a good distance around you. There isn't a ton of people on the trails, which is always good. And you get to see a lot more like nut hatches and woodpeckers, stuff like that. Coming down in this little valley here. It's a hemlocks. Ooh. That one split. A lot of down trees up here this year. I don't remember like a really bad windstorm or anything, not sure why. Maybe it was the uh, lack of water or something we had. I mean, it was a pretty dry year. Downy woodpecker up there doing his thing. been a couple of years I mean it was before last time that they did the uh, before my other video where they did the uh, controlled burn so you can kind of see so that's you know two years ago that did this control burn but you can uh, you can really tell with the uh, landscape how uh, sparse it is in between the trees which promotes some good, um, good healthy growth. You know, not, there's not so much, there wasn't so much leaf litter and old dead wood to kind of prevent, you know, so you got a lot of, got a lot of, a lot of new mountain laurel bushes coming up. You know, in a couple years, those are gonna be, those are gonna be pretty big. So, yeah, control burns are a good thing. Wish California would learn that. We're coming down into this little uh, gully where the North Kill runs. So one thing you gotta be cautious of is that if it rains pretty good, like if it's the day after it's really good rain or whatever, that this might not be the trail that you wanna do. Because when you get down in this gully, you'll be walking next to water. But there's been plenty of times where I came up here and the, you know, you were almost having to be, having to wade because uh, 
Yeah, because of all the rain. So when we, when we get down here, I'll show you. Like I said, if, it, uh, if it's raining pretty good, it's usually pretty wet down here. So just to be uh, cautious. These little mountain streams are really neat. Nice and clear. There's a native trout right there. Kind of hanging out by the rock. And we're at the sand spring. It's a little tiny pool. Here. I'm trying to remember if that tree was. Oh, that tree fell down. I think the video last time. Oh, great. So this is a geocache that somebody pulled out and left here. Instead of putting it back to where it belonged. And I don't remember where it belonged. <laughs> we'll have to, uh, have to figure out where that that is. But this is a really cool pool. If you look down in there, you can see the uh, sand bubbling up through. So I haven't geocached in like, I don't know, two years or so. Um, when they changed, when, whenever they changed their app, I wasn't a big fan of the new app and just kind of got too clunky, too, stu too stupid. I was kind of done with it. Um, yeah, so I put that back though, where I think I remember it came from, instead of having it sit out. I mean, I don't want to, ruin anybody else's fun but uh yeah that's a sand spring trail been here coming here since I was a kid it's kind of gotten smaller since I was a kid or I've gotten bigger I'm not sure <laughs> but we'll uh, keep going here one thing I did notice is that they reblazed this and all the blaze marks are pretty fresh and uh, so a couple months ago lady got lost up here missed the uh, she was gonna do the Tomlo trail and she missed it and there was a search for her and all kinds of stuff like that and kind of wondering if that was this is an answer to that but it's always nice to uh, see those bright shiny trail markings especially when the trail is not completely defined like this one is so uh, oh, there's a mud pit doing that twice anyway yeah so we'll keep going here I don't know if it's because it's hunting season or what but I usually see at least one deer up here but I have not seen any you know just birds a one squirrel, but yeah, besides, I mean, it's 46, 47 degrees, it's not, you know, it's super cold. We'll keep going here and come down another one of these really neat little mountain streams. Another one further south is the North Kill. I'm not quite sure what this one is. all the sandstone and sand makes for some nice filtration 
It makes the water so crystal clear during summer. It's good for like salamanders, good salamander population, lots of native trout. It's beautiful. You see there's a just scared a big turkey. I don't know if you saw him, but he was sitting right there. I don't know if I got the camera out in time. See him fly, he scared the crap out of me. So we're coming down the hill here. Um, when we get to the bottom of the hill, we'll pass this little pond, and then we'll be back out on uh, Old Forge Road, North Kill Road. Might be bloody around Springs Road, too. Uh, I don't remember the roads. I don't pay attention to the roads since, you know, I've just been driving up here since I was a kid. So, anyway, um, the uh, sun went away, it got cloudy, temperature dropped. I mean, it was like 46 or so when we started. Now I think I looked, last time I looked at it was at like 41, 40. So I know rain's coming in. But we're almost done. About five miles or so. So just a little bit further. There's a little uh, retention pond down there. So you'll see it on your right hand side as you come down the hill. So we're back down in the North Kill again. We gotta go across, which is not the easy part, but we'll do our best here. Hopefully, it's not getting wet. So, we'll go this way. It's like a puzzle. Out across the stream without. Completely losing your crap. <laughs> All right. Step here, here, and across. So the Tom Lowe Trail comes out like right there, and then. There's the parking lot. So, makes a nice little loop. So that was the uh, Tom Lowe Trail. Uh, basically, it's it's a state game land parking lot from Charlottesville to the Sand Spring Trail up to the Tom Lowe Trail and around, and it loops back down to the, uh, the Charlottesville Trail. So, good day for a hike. Um, it got a little nippy, got a little colder. It was like 46, 47 degrees, but dropped. It's probably, it's, 41 right now so it's going down a little colder um beautiful trail especially in the fall uh yeah so i i and you know you should you should definitely check it out uh if you like this video make sure you check out my other videos like i said in the show notes uh i'm gonna post everything from this video um you know basically like the trailhead and my my uh my gps track and all that kinds of other stuff so but uh yeah, so uh, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, get out, explore some stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.